Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. eGallery here bringing you the DIY tutorial on framing prints from gift bags and greeting cards and just about anything that you can frame we're going to do it with Dollar Tree items. Now I've been promising this video. It was requested by 50 pound eyelids. Hi 50 pound eyelids. Uh, we did speak on our live. Uh, I did my first live this morning on YouTube and it went quite well so I'm sure that I'll do it again. But today I'm going to focus on this tutorial for all of you that I know a couple other people are interested on how we do the framed art. The frames and almost everything here has come from the Dollar Tree. And like I told you, you can frame anything. Anything that's going to fit the size of a frame that you choose is going to be frameable. Something that you treasure, such as a, a, something someone may have written you, a special quote, a special, anything that you can make your own. Something that you're going to want to put your personalization on via framing is what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to be in and out of the frame because the most important thing is is that we see what I'm doing. There's going to be two parts to this video. I'm going to show you because it's too hard to do the cutting and the framing and the adjusting. So I'm going to show you kind of the before of how we're going to look at things and then the second part will be the after and putting it together. So I've gathered a bunch of stuff here. These are, now these were frames I've done in a previous haul. These are the kinds of frames you're gonna be looking for to do what I'm talking about. These come with matting. Some don't come with matting. So I choose both. I do with and without. So I have a couple that have that. You wanna choose a couple that have the choices of the sizes and turn it right side up. <laughs> But you want to make sure that you're going to have some choices because some smaller quotes and things that you want. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about as far as quotes. Um, actually, there's one up there. I can. There's a couple up there I can grab. But anyway, um, this is what you're going to be looking for. So I'm looking for uh, choices. And you're going to give yourself different size choices so that the things that you choose are going to fit. You can always clip things to fit, but these are the, again, these are the frames that I've chosen all from the Dollar Tree. And then the bigger ones. These are mostly gift bag size frames, and uh, these are the types of frames that you're going to use for the bigger things. And I did pick these up, I told you, because these are really not framing because there's no glass in it. You're just going to clip whatever you want to clip there to personalize your space. So I just brought that to show you. So we're gonna stick those aside a minute. And I'm gonna show you a few that I've already done. Strangely enough, my obsession started around Christmas time. So I apologize that I'm about to show you some framed Christmas items. Either call it really early or awfully late. These are frames that I've done from gift bags from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you've seen it here on YouTube before, but it is not all my subscribers may have seen it. So it's been requested. Like I said, so I am bringing it to you today. Um, this was just a gift bag, a regular gift bag, such as this, when I showed you folks how we're gonna do this one, cut and framed. It didn't have a matting, and then it has the kickstand in the back. So I had these all out at Christmas time. This I had with the rustic decor. Again, this is doesn't fit all the way, but I turned the inside, you know the, the kind of the guts that they give you for the, the paper with the faux pictures such as this car. It also comes with a little thin cardboard to kind of give it some packing or some thickness so that the print doesn't slide around. I turned it around so it kind of looks weathered if you can see and that kind of became my border for this. Yeah, again this was a paper bag. I mean what is wrong with me? A gift bag. The same exact thing I did with this one was a gift bag. And you can do this with wrapping paper. I've done it with wrapping paper as well. And um, I don't hang them all. I put that you're thinking, okay, she's got 30 Christmas present uh, pictures. Where does she hang them all? No, I don't hang them all. I stand them around. I have a, a bookcase that I stood the, I kind of um, leaned on each side. 
um, a fireplace that I put them around uh, near the Christmas tree, so it, it was very nice. Again, this was a popular bag everyone was looking for. And uh, this also, a bag. So see how easy? I mean, that was it was a dollar and a dollar. So for two dollars, I had all these lovely prints for Christmas. Now, again, I'm showing you all the items that I've gathered that we're going to, because there's so many choices. Um, you can pick a smaller photo and use, I have, some, I, I have wrinkled, but you're going to not get wrinkled. You're going to get the brand new. You're going to get wrap, um, tissue paper. And what you can do is, if you want that to be your color, at Christmas I had some that was the white with a glittery background. And you, as long as you get it new and flat, it will not look wrinkled once you put it in there. It is a little job to put it in there, but you can use that as a backing. So you would have this pink as a color in the frame, if you can kind of picture that. And then the picture that you choose, such as this picture, because of the flamingo, it would have that sort of a, its own matting, if you will. So I just wanted to show you that that is an option as well. I don't have any new tissue paper, or I would show you that. Mine has all been crumbly and wrinkled. So um, uh, you saw these cards. Again, they're going to fit some of these. And what I'm going to do in the second video is have these all opened and ready cut such as this bag. I want to have it ready cut because it takes too long to cut the Be Awesome. You want to cut that all and kind of, you can even, you can incorporate this if you don't want it to look uneven, but I don't know if I will or I won't, but you can if you want to. Otherwise, you're just going to go straight across. And then we're going to put this in one of these frames. Or if I need the bigger frame, I'm going to put it in the bigger frame and just mat it with something. So see how easy that's going to be? So I'll have those ready in the second video. So we have the bags that we're going to use. You can use both sides if you want. This is more shimmery and gold. This is just a matted. Um, again, the cards, like I said, are going to be some of the smaller choices in these. I may choose to put just one in that little frame and then a quote, sorry for the glare, maybe a quote there and then another choice of something like this but bigger for the sizes that we would need them for. So I have those. I have, um, I'm trying to give you the ideas and then we're going to go with flow. <laughs> um, the, the cards that I told you that I liked. We're going to incorporate these into frames too. We're going to incorporate all that into some type of frame. And I always tell you, see how gorgeous that is? Like that whole thing, I'll put in a frame. But this, you may not want all the words to something that you choose. So you can just straight that off and put in the smaller frame. And it has the kickstand, so you try to choose that so that you have these two choices of standing up or, or um, leaning sideways. Um, so there's that. And then the flamingo, I have to try to figure out if they won't always work. I'm not saying everything I've showed you is going to work. Most everything I've showed you, I've already done. Something like this I have not, but I love the flamingo. I don't want the words, so we're going to find out together if that's going to work. Yesterday, I was thinking with these beautiful flowers, can you imagine, I said there is even another idea because I'm trying to put all my ideas together, that you would just take these off because they come right off and you could flat frame them, even the smaller ones. And you could put two or three in a, in a frame. You can clip that down if you want to, some kind of, that's a little stiff but I, I would probably just clip it somehow that I could get maybe a 3d effect and then push in the you know the glass down on it how amazing would that look I mean like I said there's just so many choices I think you can frame anything that's going to fit within the frame you choose so then that gave me the idea of these why couldn't these be flat framed you could have a frame of uh, maybe just a line of them. 
down and then a sort of a picture on the side. So these would be flat in the, in the glass and then you'd have a side picture. Just giving you ideas, folks. So those are the ideas we're working on. Those are the, um, the things that I have together that we're going to, I'm trying to say items, <laughs> are um, gather all our stuff that we're going to use. And I will be back in the second video with everything opened, all these opened, and everything cut ready to go and show you exactly how to place that in. Now hang tight right there. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you some of these quotes. And that's what I mean. I printed these off of the, sorry folks, I printed these off of the computer. And I have like a, um, not a vision board, but like a, a clipboard that you would put them on. And I have a lot of those put on there. I got this from ColourPop. And I popped that in my little frame. So I have one, two, three, four, eleven little quotes in there of fashion. It's so easy. So stay tuned in my part two and we'll get started on making those frames. Have a great day, folks. Bye.